Hello, my name is JW Wargo and I'm a Bizarro writer. This is my video review of The Rot Gut County Blues by Jason Wayne Allen. Uh, I received this uh, limited edition chapbook, it's number 20 of 25 copies, as a gift from uh, Dynatox Ministries. It wasn't received with the stipulation that I review it. I'm reviewing this book because I enjoyed the hell out of it. <clears throat> um, I'm doing this video review because a friend of mine on Facebook uh, commented about the book wanting me to do the review aloud, so I am doing that. If you would like to just read the review, you can find it on Goodreads. Just search for the Rock Gut County Blues. Uh, okay, so here is, without further ado, is my review. <clears throat> I recently rode the bus for several hours around the island of Oahu in Hawaii, up the coast to the North Shore, down the center of the island into Honolulu, over the Pali Mountain Highway and back over to the east side of town of Kaneohe and its volcanically produced Ocean Bay, where I currently reside. I rode the bus all day specifically to get some reading time in. It's about a two to two and a half hour ride up to the North Shore, and during that time, I read Mr. Allen's sobering neo-beat tale of youth anguish set in the southern United States. What first struck me as interesting is the well-honed focus of the story. A lot of beat literature tends to stray from their stories with many side anecdotes that do nothing to further the plot. Rock Gut County Blues never loses sight of its core, however. This is a story of young love. Jack and Ruby, a reference to a certain Oswald ending man, perhaps, are the young lovers in question. Jack moved to Gar County, Georgia from Atlanta, while Ruby's lived there her whole life. Despite their differences, they both abhor the stale culture of their surroundings, and the two cling to each other for support, drugs or otherwise. Overstimulated but undersexed, Jack's angst is like a trick candle, easy to blow out momentarily but impossible to keep from re-sparking. Get ready for a shitstorm if you run into Jack on a day when he's broke and out of cigarettes. He finds solace from his problems hanging out with Ruby, their minds escaping together into beer cans and clouds of marijuana smoke. Mr. Allen has painted a stone-cold portrait of growing up in the middle of nowhere. No sympathy, no leniency, and no excuses. Gray lines keep the characters ambivalent. There is no clear right or wrong when life is getting by day to day, looking for cheap forms of entertainment and waiting for something, anything, to happen. So it goes in small town USA. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, I urge you to check out Dynatox Ministries for this and uh, other uh, limited edition books um, in all sorts of genres. And you can find them at dynatoxministries.com. That's D-Y-N-A-T-O-X ministries.com. Thanks for listening, watching, whatever. <laughs> Bye.